This one is Japanese Charity. Um, I just love, love her gray color. It's very, very interesting. And she lasts pretty good. And the best thing of her is she doesn't have that much thorn. Look at this. The whole stem doesn't have thorn. Until you see on the very bottom that it has few. So I love roses like this. It's like when you're passing by, it's like not cut on you or anything, but just showing her beauty. And this is how she is. This is when she is a little bit, it's, her color is a little bit deeper, but as she fully open, and inside is like a Miyabi Cha a little bit, and her petal has a little sharp uh, pointy area. Her fragrance is amazing. It's like an old rose and with a fruity mix together. It's, it's very, very fragrant. I would say her fragrance level is about strong, it's like eight out of eight out of ten, I would say. It's it's pretty good. And I like her smell. And as she fully open, um, it's just ash gray, pretty much. Like it's uh, on the camera, probably not showing. It probably more intensified the color, but in real person, it's more grayish. And her health wise is pretty good. And she's right now in. This uh, ceramic pot right now. I had, I think I had two plants in there. One is uh, the sweet wuzilla, and then this one is um, this ja Japanese charity together. Um, I think it's a little bit too crowded, but and that's why it has a little bit powdery mildew right here. But I had, I think I had three of them in a yard because I just like how she mixed with the yellow together in this spot. It just pop a little bit, but it really gives us like had the yellows pop but also they also as part of their bouquet and uh, showing off and it's just I like the um, how to say it has something pop but also something that tunes down the the color a little bit I don't know but anyway that is my uh, personal uh, style and yeah she's her height wise is about two two and a half right now her height right here in the pot is about two and a half feet two and a half to three feet tall yeah it's not it's not as tall as um uh it as not tall as any other roses that i have in this area but um, she doesn't throw out any uh, octopus king. That's a good thing. And health-wise, um, her paddle is very thick, by the way. Uh, it is pretty good. I think I said that already. It's pretty good for um, for vase, for this one. Um, health-wise, uh, lately the weather is weird, so I don't know is should I consider her as a poem to powder mildew because all the other one that I have in this area because it's a more open area and in the morning there's a lot of uh, moist in the air um, and I didn't spray it that well with water so maybe that's why it's just like powdery up see all the other one right here even though my my Catalina is okay on the back but still See, Catalina usually is very healthy, but still has some of them. The leaves are being damaged. But anyway, um, I have one in full sun, but that one I think it has a little drought problem because um, the where I plant it in the ground is she didn't have that much water during the hot heat summer. So right now she's recovering. But so far this one in the shade, well right now it's in partial shade but in summertime she's in full sun all day and her bloom it lasts pretty long. Um, but the most best part is I her color is just very interesting for me. It's like if you compare to the white, oh let me get the white one right here. So you could compare them. What? This one is more like yellowish white not fully white um see this is how pretty she is i just love those color combination on the pretty right so so nice but anyway so this is a japanese charity 
This is the one plan, and I had another one on the other side. So I had one right here on the back right here. It's um, this one is a little bit in the corner. So she didn't get that much sun. So her height is gets pretty tall. But I also have it in a tall pot too. And I planted like four of them in this pot. Is it? Do they still survive? Oh, they still alive? No, actually five of them. Cause this one of them is the tree rose. Yes, don't learn from me. I don't have that much space, so I'm trying to jam in everything. So this is the age that, uh, but her fragrance, let me see, her fragrance. Oh, still had a lot of fragrance. Oh, so nice. This one. Oh, the bloom is a little bit different. But the same grayish color. Oh, there you go. This one is more look like it. It's very nice. Oh, it smells so good. Even fully bloomed like this, it still smells so good. But I think this one didn't do that well because she didn't get as much sun. And and her leaves wise, you see how healthy she is? Like she doesn't get any uh, any of the the powdery mildew problem. So very interesting. Very cool. So yeah, so this one is um Japanese charity on the back right there and then I have one right here which is whenever I pass by I can see her very pretty Japanese parody I really like you smells so good